So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the text tool in Photoshop. This step here isn't necessary to do, but it is helpful, especially if you have multiple um, presets that you're working with, so you can keep them straight if they're named. But um, right here I'm just going to type in a name for this preset, just so that I have an idea that this is the one that I'm wanting or not wanting, depending on the situation. I'm just going to try and make that someplace that's at least somewhat visible so that I can hopefully read it later. And I'm going to go ahead and crop it just because I prefer them to be more of a square shape than a rectangle. Granted, that's not the most square ever photo, but it's good enough for this situation. Then I'm going to go ahead and export that out just so that I can um, access it when I move on to Lightroom. And it is good to go ahead and size down your image when you um, export it out because you don't want to take up all the space on your computer really quickly with extremely large files when you don't need them to be extremely large because, I mean, let's be honest, this is just going to go on my phone not that important to be high quality. Alright, and then once you are done with that, go to Lightroom and go ahead and find your photo that you just exported out. Try to locate it there. Okay, and then import it into Lightroom. I prefer to just drag it in because I'm, it's my style. Alright, then you're going to go to the Develop tab. And you're going to go to your presets on the side. This is one of mine that I use for um, my Instagram feed typically. Doesn't matter if it looks good on the photo or not, you just need the settings. So you're going to go ahead and click on the um, preset on your photo. And then you're going to come down here to collections. And then you're going to um, create a collection. Not a smart one though, I realized afterwards that this wasn't what I had done before. So this is actually wrong. But you're going to hit the plus sign and you're going to create a collection. You're going to name it. I named mine Instagram Presets or IG Presets, I think. Um, I already have one, so I'm not actually going to create this, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. And then down here, you'll see there's a folder. Now this is all under the um, files. These files here are also on your mobile phone. So I'm going to click and drag the photo into the IG Presets folder. So you can see I also have some of my um, presets from my regular collection. In hindsight, I should have made that text black instead of white, but it doesn't really matter for this purpose. And then you'll see up here at the top it says Syncing Photo, which you're going to want it to finish saying that before you'll see it on your phone. Alright, and then on my phone here, I just opened up Lightroom. And then I... Um, Reset that photo to standard, and you see it popped up here, the one that we just did in Lightroom. You're going to click on it, because it's already synced onto my phone. And then I'm going to hit the little three dots, and um, click on the copy settings, hit OK. Then we're going to go back to the original photo that I had there a moment ago. I'm going to go scroll all the way to the right, and hit previous, and then all from previous. And then you can just adjust from there. And basically what it did is it copied the settings off of your um, dummy photo, so to speak, and just pasted them onto this one so you have your preset. It's kind of a roundabout way of doing it, but it works out really well. And there you go. That's pretty much all you have to do. It's ready to go on Instagram now. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys, for watching.